Chapter 4, Writing Emails and Business Correspondence in Chinese The email has emerged as a crucial instrument for international commercial transactions in the current digital era. This chapter will look at practical Chinese writing techniques for emails and other business correspondence. Formatting In general, the format of an email in Mandarin is the same as it is in English. To make sure that your email appears polished and professional, it's crucial to pay attention to the details. Greetings start your email with a polite greeting, such as Zuanjingda or Ninhao. Introduction Introduce yourself briefly and explain the purpose of your email. Main body This is where you provide the details of your request or inquiry. Make sure to be clear and concise and use proper grammar and vocabulary. Closing, thank the recipient for their time and consideration, and provide your contact information. Closing greetings end your email with a polite closing, such as Zhu Hao or Jing Zhu Shang Qi. Vocabulary Use the right business jargon when composing emails in Mandarin if you want to be sure your message is understood and understood well. The followings are some key vocabulary terms and expressions to remember. Xuanwen, to inquire or ask. Xinqing, to apply or request. Anpai, to arrange. Qiueren, to confirm. Jianyi, suggestion or advice. Yuding, to make a reservation or booking. Ganxia, to thank. Tosu, to complain. Hatong, contract or agreement. Yijian, opinion or suggestion. Grammar. To ensure that your message is understandable and clear while sending emails in Chinese, utilize good grammar. Here are some crucial grammar pointers to remember. Employ courteous words in Chinese culture. It's crucial to be respectful when speaking to clients or business partners. Using appropriate honorifics and polite language is part of this. Keep things brief. Chinese people tend to value communication that is brief and to the point. Don't use convoluted or lengthy sentences. The tone of your email can reveal a lot about your attitude and goals, so pay close attention to it. Be sure to speak in an approachable and friendly manner, avoid being overly demanding or combative. Employ appropriate punctuation to make your email easier to read, use appropriate punctuation, such as commas and periods. Conclusion We have looked at useful techniques in this chapter for writing Chinese emails and business interactions. You may communicate effectively with your Chinese business colleagues and clients by adhering to the correct formatting, utilizing acceptable business jargon, and paying attention to grammar and tone. We'll examine useful techniques for communicating in Chinese over the phone and in negotiations in the chapters that follow.